Okay, so we're going to walk you through inserting the Cube device into the OBD2 slot. This car's an Audi, just to the left of the steering column underneath. You can see that pink slot there, that's the OBD2 socket there. Most cars available from the mid 90s, and certainly all cars available in the last 20 years, have the OBD2 slot. Once you've located the slot, take your Cube device. Just make sure you line up the pins correctly to the slots in the socket and then just a little bit of pressure once you have a successful connection as you can see you've got the green flashing light and your cube device is successfully paired and inserted into the socket this car's a hyundai again to the left hand side this one's slightly different you'll see a plastic panel that has a cover over it just slip that out and inside there you also see the same type of slot, the OBD2 slot. And again, just line up the cube device, plug it in. And again, looking for the successful green flashing light for the successful connection, and you're ready to go. Now you can see from your smartphone, you can diagnose any problems your car might be having. All these readings taken from the OBD2 slot, things like fuel consumption and speed, and any error messages. The Cube is based on these uh, diagnoses and aims to remotely upgrade the latest car software, downloading the software from the manufacturer and then uploading it. Of course, you don't have to worry about hacking because you update it with a blockchain and you can easily do this at home. So the Cube device makes it much easier for you to go to your car factory and you no longer have to worry about resetting or updating the complicated software.